In today's episode, you will learn how to use a Capacitio Biometric Fingerprint Scanner Module R557 with the Arduino Pro Micro. Don't worry if you hear the name Arduino Pro Micro. You can also use Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano. In fact, I have already used this fingerprint module with the Arduino Nano to control an electronic door lock. I've also used this fingerprint module with the Node MCO ASP8266565 module to create an IoT based attendance system for students or employees. I've also used the same Capacitor fingerprint module with the Raspberry Pi Pico to control an electronic door lock. Even I have used the same Capacitor biometric sensor with the ESP3255 plus Bluetooth module for controlling home appliances. Now, you might be wondering if I have already used this fingerprint module with Arduino, Raspberry Pi Pico, ESP8266 and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, then why am I using the same fingerprint module with the Arduino Pro Micro? Well, there are three reasons behind it. Number one, there are no videos on YouTube about Arduino Pro Micro and fingerprint sensor. So I thought that making a video about it might help someone. Arduino Pro Micro is much cheaper than the other Arduino boards. So by using Arduino Pro Micro, you can reduce the cost and size of your project. Number two, for the past three months, I have been using my designed Arduino Pro Micro and 5 volt 3 amps power supply in various projects to test their performance. My ongoing series about Arduino Pro Micro is going well and I have already used my designed Arduino Pro Micro and the 5 volt 3 amps power supply with the MLX9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor and the PN532 NFC RFID module. So far the performance of my designed Arduino Pro Micro has been amazing. Today I will also find out how well my designed Arduino Pro Micro is going to perform with this fingerprint module. Number 3. There are many boys and girls who want to design their own products and don't want to use ready-made Arduino boards. For example, if you want to make a fingerprint based door lock product, you cannot just sell everything separately. You have to properly solder everything on a single PCB. I have designed these two boards that I can sell separately as products. It's a fully functional 543 amps power supply and a fully working Arduino Pro Micro. If I solder the components of these two boards onto one PCB and add a fingerprint module, I can make a complete product. I designed these boards in Ultium Designer, so if you want to learn how to design boards like these, you can watch my previous videos. I have added links in the description. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The R557 fingerprint sensor module is a compact and reliable biometric sensor that can be used to secure doors or other access points. It can also be used in students and employees attendance system. It's a low cost and low power fingerprint sensor. It operates on a low voltage of 3.3 volt, making it ideal for battery powered systems. It can be used with 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino. ESP32, STM32, ESP8266, Raspberry Pi Pico, and so on. With this capacity of fingerprint sensor, you can easily integrate biometric authentication into your projects. Supply voltage is 3.3 volt, working current is 30 milliamps, peak current is 40 milliamps, fingerprint image entry time is less than 0.3 seconds, collection window area is 12.8 mm in diameter. Security level is the highest. Image resolution is 508 dpi. Working environment temperature is from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. There is an RGB LED inside this module so when the fingerprint sensor is on it shows blue light. When the fingerprint scanning operation is successful it shows green light and when the operation is failed it shows a red light. It includes a storage capacity of up to 120 fingerprints, a fast recognition speed of under one second, and a high resolution image sensor that captures clear and accurate fingerprints. For more technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. 
First wire is the VD. This is the finger detection power and this wire is connected with a 3.3 volt. Second wire is the IRQ. This is the finger detection signal wire. When there is finger, it outputs a high signal. Third wire is the VCC and it should be connected with 3.3 volt. Fourth and fifth wires are TXT and RXT. Both are 3.3 volt TTL logic level. And sixth wire is the ground and it should be connected with the ground. The red and yellow wires of the fingerprint sensor are connected to the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Pro Micro. The black wire which is the IRQ wire is left unconnected. The green and blue wires are the TXT and RXT wires and these wires are connected to the Arduino Pro Micro RX and TX pins. The white wire is the ground wire and it's connected to the Arduino Pro Micro ground pin. The anode legs of the two LEDs are connected to the Arduino Pro Micro digital pins 3 and 4 through these 330 ohm resistors and the cathode legs of the LEDs are connected to the ground. So that's all about the connections and still if you think you have missed anything then you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and install the required libraries for the R557 fingerprint module. For this open the Arduino IDE. Click on the sketch menu. Go to include library and then click on manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit fingerprint. Click on the install button. You can see my Adafruit fingerprint sensor library is now installed. Next for the fingerprint enrollment, connect your Arduino board with a laptop or PC and upload this sketch. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. You can see the code has been uploaded. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultim Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and SolidWorks, PTC Crew, Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest component search engine Octopart so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. Next open the serial monitor and follow the instructions. Right now it's saying please type in the ID number from 1 to 127 you want to save this finger is. So I'm going to type 3. Now I can place my finger. I'm going to place the same finger again. Now my finger is enrolled and its ID is 3. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for another finger and this time I'm going to use 4 as the ID number. You can see I have successfully enrolled two fingers. This is the final code that I used to control the two LEDs. You can see I have named the two LEDs as Relay 1 and Relay 2. This is the same exact code from my previous R557 fingerprint module based projects. The only difference is that this time I'm using the Arduino Pro Micro and instead of controlling the door lock, I'm simply controlling the two LEDs. You can see I'm using the finger IDs 3 and 4. 3 is the ID of my forefinger and 4 is the ID of my middle finger. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will add a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program 
And now let's watch this capacity of fingerprint sensor and Arduino Pro Micro in action. Right now you can see I'm using my laptop as the voltage source. Anyway, it's ready and now let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Now I'm going to use my regulated 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to power up all the electronics. You can see I have connected the 5 volt and ground wires from the 5 volt power supply to the Arduino Pro Micro raw and ground pins. I'm going to use my 12 volt DC adapter. This 5 volt and 3 amps power supply accepts a wide range of input voltages from 7 volts to 28 volts DC. So you can use any voltage source, just make sure it doesn't exceed 28 volts. So my designed Arduino Pro Micro and 5 volt 3 amps power supply works amazingly with the R557 capacity of fingerprint Mario. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.